Hey Taurus, it's Dana. Deep Thoughts with Dana. How the heck are you? How is everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing good, because I'm doing good. Hope everybody's doing good. High Priestess trying to flip out of these cards for you. So, Taurus, we're going to do this old school. Old school. No camera, no face-to-face. -face. If you're new to this channel, usually I'm on camera. But you know what? I look like shit right now. And I don't want to be on camera. But I have the need to read. High Priestess and Justice trying to come out. So, Taurus, we're going to do this old school and we're going to jump right into it as always. This is a general reading for the sign of Taurus. Alright, this is what we're going to do. It's going to shuffle. I'm just going to let the cards come out. I'll stop at 15, I think. Alright, so Spirit, what do you have to say for Taurus? What do you want the collective of Taurus to know? What's going on in the planets, Spirit? What's going on in the planets and how should Taurus respond? What does Taurus need to know? What's coming for Taurus? What does Taurus need to look out for? What does Taurus need to look forward to? Spirit, you just feel free to just pop right out of here. Whoa, not like that though. Pop right out of here and just tell Taurus what it is that they need to know. Spirit, what does Taurus need to know? What is coming for the Taurus? What does Taurus need to know? Spirit, what does Taurus need to know? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? Spirit, dang. You guys seeing this? They're just like all crazy. All right, let's see what we got. The wheel in reverse, the ace of wands, the sun, and the ten of wands. Give me one more for the top row here. And the moon. All right. What else? What else we got? The lovers. What else we got, spirit? What else do you, Taurus, need to know? What's the story? What's the four? Oh, I'm taking those because they definitely flip. Uh, ooh, look at that. The Fool to Judgment. What is the 411 spirit? Holy schmoly the star. I'll be damned. All right. Yeah, I'm taking it because, well, maybe we'll take all these. Let's see what the story says here. There's a bunch of flippers. Oh, man, that's a lot to put together. New opportunities, needing some inner strength because of disappointment, transition, resi um, delays, frustration, in the head, Queen of Wands, Nine of Cups. You know, it's just too many details. But as a reader, it was good for me to read that because it kind of gives me a string and a story of what's happening here. I don't have to take everything that I look at, right? It just kind of puts together a story for me. The King of Swords. Five more, Spirit. Five more. Five more for Taurus. The Hierophant in Reverse. Five more, to Spirit. Five more, Taurus. Is Spirit a Taurus? Five more, Spirit. Four more, please. Actually, what was that trying to come out? Yeah. What else, Spirit? What else? What else? Three more, Spirit. Three more. That alchemist, it didn't try to come out, but I have felt it. I probably should have kept it, but I'm only human, right? Eight of Wands in reverse. What else, Spirit? Seven of Swords in reverse. What else? What else? Justice. Nice to end it on. Anything else you want to say here, Spirit? Anything else I need to know? Any continuation of the story? Death in reverse. Anything else you want to say, Spirit? Going once. Going twice. All right, what was that? <laughs> the Princess of Wands. Ace of Swords in Reverse, Temperance and the Prince of Cups. All right, we're stopping there. All right, so what do we got here? We got a cycle breaking, the manifestation of a new inspired beginning, the sun in reverse. Why? Why the sun in reverse? 
Why are you happy, but not like over the moon kind of happy? What's the burden and the struggle that you have to check yourself in the emotions with right here? Mm. <coughs> the emperor. This could be talking about a person. This could be talking... Hold on, sorry. <coughs> <coughs> sorry, this could be talking about a person. This could be talking about your way of life. The authority, the establishment, the structure of your life. Yeah, look, decisions and choices to the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Lack of a long-term vision. Lack of a long-term vision. Um, limited success or reward. So the burden and the struggle. King of Cups in reverse. This could be emotional volatility. Could be the removal of love. Ooh, drinking some grapefruit soda. I don't know if you all have ever tried these. Um, they're Mexican grapefruit sodas. They're called uh, Chiritos, Javitos. I don't know how you say that, but um, it's good. They're, it's in like the little Mexican section of the grocery store. Grapefruit soda, real sugar. Oh, it's just delicious. It doesn't taste like good old-fashioned squirt, but it is good. All right, so the Ten of Wands. You have a burden and a struggle over the emperor. Spirit, tell me what this emperor is. Well, the lovers, Dana, look look ahead, look ahead, Dana, look ahead. The lovers to the fool. It's one thing Tarot's taught me. One of those life lessons, right, is to look ahead because I'll find myself um, getting stuck and wanting to know and wanting to know and wanting to know and wanting to know when in fact what I need to do is stop wanting to know and look what's coming down the road and that usually answers my question and I found that to be very applicable to life as well so yeah life lesson 101 there all right so your burden and struggle is the emperor now you have decisions to make. You've had limited success or reward in the past. And you have withdrawn your feelings or this person didn't reciprocate your feelings. You're in the moon energy, really, really thinking about what's happening, trying to feel your way through. There's something that just isn't sitting right with you. The lovers. The lovers. That's what this is about. A love situation. A love situation to the fool. A new beginning and a new journey in your life. To judgment that you have to make a real serious decision about. The star, hope, faith, purpose, renewal. The king of swords, some kind of decision or truth that changes the way that you believe about something. Teamwork and collaboration. Holding off mental challenges or breaking free of some mental challenges to justice. And then we have those. So, so this is a story about somebody wanting to break a cycle. Somebody breaking a cycle. A, a cycle that's been going on for a good minute. Tell me about this cycle and this Ace of Wands spirit. Tell me about this. Tell me. Page of Swords. Communication, right? Communication about manifesting change in the situation. So there's some communication that came in about manifesting change in the situation. There, the communication is about an inspired, passionate new beginning. But you're not super happy because there's burden and struggle. Why? Why is Taurus not so super happy? Because there has been no communication. There's been nothing nothing energetic being exchanged here. The Eight of Wands in reverse is about delays, frustration, and holding off. 
Um, and because you're not 100% aesthetic, you are going to hold off a little bit. You're going to hold back a little bit in the moon energy, contemplating the burden and the struggle that this emperor, who is the, the subject matter here, this emperor wants a lover's situation. They've communicated they want to manifest change in the relationship. They want the cycle to change. They want a new beginning and a new journey. But Taurus is, is like, mm, I have options and choices about all of this. And in the past, there was really not a lot of success. And maybe I don't really see success in the future. To the King of Cups in reverse. Me, mm, you know, don't know. Don't know. Six of Pentacles. Giving and receiving and sharing. What's this about? The lovers to the fool to the six of pentacles. Giving and receiving and sharing. Having some healing and some forgiveness. From the tower moment that happened between the two of you. And now you need to pull on your inner reserves and your inner strength to the nine of swords in reverse. Because... Um, you thought this relationship was hopeless. You thought it was hopeless. And now you have anxiety and despair because it's up in your face again. What are these about? Yeah, look. Eight of Cups in reverse. There was You walked away from this in the past, right? Hopeless again. Walked away from this in the past. Two of Swords in reverse. Now he has this confused. Confused. To the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This was a huge loss back in the day. It was. It was a huge loss back in the day. Huge loss. And the Six of Swords in reverse. And you're wondering if there's just too much water under the bridge to even move forward. Judgment, right? This is the position that you're being put in. And I want to point out one thing real quick. These are all major arcana, right? Spirit is saying there is a cycle change happening. What you do with it is up to you. But it's time that this cycle of your life changes. It's time that it breaks, right? To the moon. Well, number one, the emperor. This is spirit saying this person is significant. This decision is significant. Um, this situation is significant in your life and has been for a minute. To the moon. Spirit is saying, use your intuition. Use your subconscious mind. Feel your way through this because all is not exactly how it appears to be. So make sure you know the full story. Sort your emotions, subconscious mind, intuition will help you through this situation. What's the situation? This person wants a lover situation. To the fool. Right? New beginning. New journey. Now you have to make a massive decision. They want to give and receive. They want forgiveness. Number one, this is a tower moment for you in your feelings. Number two, they want forgiveness for the tower moment that happened between the two of you. Now you're pulling on some reserves because you thought this was hopeless. Hopeless walked away. Now indecision, confusion, information, overload, um was a real bad loss in the past and you're not sure if there's not too much water under the bridge to to work this out all right whoa judgment yeah look spirit just throw it in there five of pentacles right left out in the cold all right judgment judgment this decision Okay, so what's the bridge between judgment and the star? Because we go from making a decision, boom, into the star, hope, faith, purpose, and renewal because of the king of swords. So why? What is the bridge between judgment and the star? What makes us go from needing to make a decision to the star energy? The nine of cups in reverse. Emotional dissatisfaction to the Six of Cups, reuniting or reconciling with someone from your past. The world in reverse, seeking closure, shortcuts, delays, delays, to the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, stuck. 
long time, long time delays, right on. So the decision to the Ace of Cups, but you have feelings for this person. You have love for this person. Love, love, love for this person. So this decision that you have to make in the center of your reading gets you to the star energy Well, see, here's a perfect example. These cards make perfect sense, right? But I don't need them on the table because they've already, I already know the story, right? A lack of motivation because of lost regret and despair. Unrealistic to share your feelings or your feelings were rejected. And the high priestess inside sorting things out, right? And we already know that you're doing that. So I don't need to keep those cards. Okay. Um, Ace of Cups, you have many, 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 much, much feelings for this person. And the Ace of Cups would be the bridge to the star. Therefore, you are going to um, go ahead and move forward in hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. Whoever this is, right? It's general. It's general. Yep, look, the King of Swords, this is your truth. This is your decision. This is what you're going to do. It could be because some truth was spoken by this emperor and it, it uh, affected, um, affected, affected your decision-making process, right? Um, so this is the King of Swords. Um, the truth was spoken. This is your truth to the Seven of Swords in reverse. Either way, you're breaking free from mental challenges associated with um, deception and deceit in the past. And you want to move towards victory with the Six of Wands. Victory, progress, and success. The Hierophant in reverse. What is this about? What's the Hierophant in reverse about? This is, well, it's about your personal beliefs. It's about changing the way that you believe about something. Yeah, to the Ten of Cups. Huh? <coughs> Hold on, guys. Time for some grapefruit soda. Hold on. Yeah, changing your belief that instead of all this right here, that perhaps this could be a Ten of Cups relationship with teamwork and collaboration. Holding off a little bit while you still get a handle on breaking free from the mental challenges, right? Tell me about the Eight of Swords in reverse and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're not rushing in to create anything just yet. Just yet. Because, yep, you're still trying to sort through the lost, the regret, the re lost regret and the despair. And um, you are resistant to move forward fully. Um, to move forward fully. But there's the star. There comes a point where the trust is established between the two of you. And you're like, okay, you can come in now. Okay? To justice. Truth, honesty, fairness. This is justice. This is the truth. This brings vindication to you. Um, this is the way it's supposed to be with justice, all right? I mean, what else can you say? It's justice. <coughs> Death in reverse. This is a personal transformation of you, of your other person, right? It's a transformation in the relationship to the Princess of Wands. And now there's enthusiasm, excitement. Um, exploration, discovery, this is what reminds me of dating, right? It's it's the dating card. It's the getting to know each other dating, you know, where you go and you know, just kind of hang out and go get food and stuff. And then, you know, you get together and you get comfortable with each other and you munch Cheetos in bed. But this is the going out and um, getting dinner card, right? So, um, um, exploration and discovery, right? Justice, a transformation, hope, faith, purpose, renewal. The Ace of Swords in reverse comes in. Confusion, chaos, lack of clarity has been tempered. Um, this is Major Arcana, let me point out, right? Um, and we'll go back and look at those. Uh, Major Arcana, right? Temperance comes in and says, temper your mental. <laughs> Just temper your mental and slow it down a notch. Enjoy the ride. Stop thinking about everything so much. Use 
prudence, right? Make sure that you watch this kid's situation carefully. Don't get too invested as you move into the Prince of Cups, the giving and receiving and sharing of feelings. Okay? Just keep your keep your wits about you and keep your, your eyes open and have some self-respect and a sense of self-worth as you move into this relationship with this person. I do have to say, what I'm seeing here, what I'm not seeing here, is uh, the King of Wands or the King of Wands in reverse, which is beautiful. That's beautiful because that means that um, the dickery might be over with. So that's a beautiful thing. Anything else you want to say here, Spirit? Anything else? All right, let's go back and look at those majors where we left off, right? So love with the lover's card. Love, soulmate, love, relationship. Major Arcana Spirit, the Fool, saying, um, you're about to take a new beginning and a new journey. Which direction you take is up to you, but you're being presented with a love opportunity. Judgment, right? You must make a decision about this. You must to the star. And this has the potential to bring a lot of happiness into your life. You have to relearn Give up on something that you had your mind set to and embrace a different perspective. Hope, faith, purpose, renewal, again, the hangman, right? Your resistance to move into this, one of two things. Your resistance to move into this is good because you really need to go into this with your eyes wide open. But also your resistance to this is futile because you want this, because you love this person. All right, what else we got? Justice. This is Spirit saying, job well done. This is the way it's supposed to be. Death in reverse. This is a personal transformation. Inside personal transformation of your belief system and the way that you feel about this person. And then temperance, right? Right? Temper your overthinking the situation and move into the giving and the receiving and the sharing of feelings. Wow, Taurus. Awesome. Well, there you go. That was your reading. Whew. Wow. That was that was a that was a good one. We'll see. Hey, hey, let's roll these dice. Let's roll these dice. So, spirit, how long how long before the page of swords and the ace of wands comes in? How long before the Page of Swords and the Ace of Wands comes in? We've got a four and a one. Um, <coughs> okay, let's break it down this way. Before the end of May, um, five days. Let's see, that would be five days, right? What is today? No, no, no. Today's the seventh. Yeah, full moon in Scorpio tonight, right? Or all day today. Um, so... Um, so the 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, the 14th. So if it's five days, it'll be on the 14th. If it's the fifth month, it will be before the end of May. Could possibly be five weeks, which would put us at what? So we're at the beginning of May, and then June would be four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that would be about, about the second week of June, maybe. Or... Or five months, five months from now, which would put us at what? Let's see, May, June, July, August, September, October, mid-September, late September to October. So anyway, yeah, interesting, interesting, interesting. Well, there you go. I hope you all enjoy it. Namaste.